my name's Melanie, I'm 40, um, recently left my job as a midwife due to ill health, um, got a condition called Ellis danlos Syndrome and got osteo and rheumatoid arthritis also. My name's Jason, um, I'm 44 years old, um, I'm Melanie's husband and uh, I run a design company. We've got three kids. Anna, who's 21, Dylan, who's 17, and Jake, who's just turned 13, full of, full of mischief, full of hormones, typical teenagers. This is Oscar, who is an English Springer Spaniel, daft as a brush, um, and as you can tell, likes to be centre of everything, really. EDS is Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Basically, it's a connective tissue disorder. So, your, your joints move around, um, people can have problems with the heart. You, you just get random episodes of tachycardia, um, and obviously fatigue, because your body's working so hard at trying to stay together. Doing like really small things tires you out. As well as mainly having um, Ellis Danlos, the boys have just both been diagnosed with it. Um, Jake's also got um, chronic fatigue. Yeah, chronic fatigue syndrome. But with them both being quite young, they've just learned to live with it, get on with it. Uh, the EDS is a new thing for them, um, and you know they're just starting to they're starting to come to terms with that. Doesn't seem to be affecting them that much at the moment, but. Uh, you know, it's quite new for us, really. Two and a half years ago, three years ago, I was working as a midwife. I was on delivery suite, delivering babies, looking after mums. Um, it was your dream was job, a, wasn't it? It was my job that I had trained for. It's been a bit of a complicated road. Work kind of was fantastic um, to some extent but they just came, we came to the end of the road really and it took so long, the recovery. We had a meeting and just said, right, let's just voluntarily terminate this employment. And that was our career over for, for me midwifery. It's been hard. It's, um, it's hard to watch the person that you love go through all this pain. And, you know, I think to, to, to watch Melanie go through it all and to, to basically feel helpless has been has been really hard. Very proud of the kids they've done. You know, they have their moments, they're not perfect by any means, but you know, they've all got their jobs to do and they do their jobs. Our daughter is sort of Melanie's full-time carer. Um, and the other two boys are just, you know, they just do it. There's no sort of quibbles or anything. Um, it, it turns your life upside down. Completely. You know, we've had our tears, haven't we? We've been through yeah. our ups and downs and we've now got to get on with it. Yeah. And that's what we are. We're going to figure out the best way to... I think I've run out of tears. Yeah. I don't think I've got any more. Yeah. I've literally, like, cried a river. The River Tyne, even. I'm not the only person. We're not the only family, you know. And people, people the go through far worse. Absolutely. Can I just say I found this really like good to talk. I think you found this as a bit of a therapy it session. Is, it, is. <laughs> it is. I apologize if I'm gonna cry, but it's, no, no, it's it's hard to watch the person you love go through this. And it's been nice to sit and talk, hasn't it? And yeah. say how we feel and you know, just get it off your yeah, chest. Yeah, get it off our chest, I suppose. <laughs>